course, we're gonna need some dark music if we're gonna read as something as dark as Berserk. Chapter 173, The Sky Falls. Uh, yeah, things are getting pretty dark, but um, the dawn is about to break. Literally and figuratively. So, oh gosh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, just a wall of uh, gooey ghosts just consuming the entire tower, making a new god hand. A false god hand, some would say, but... Um, yeah, this is a... It's a miracle they, these guys have lasted this long. It's like... You'd think they'd run out of wood to burn, eventually. But no. They're demanding. They're crying out. They're demanding something. Oh uh, yes, all the all the souls trapped in in agony in these uh, in these blobs, all crying out for salvation. Guts, look. <clears throat> I'm getting my voice ready. It's this. It's resonating with those voices. Settle down, bitchy. Urb a thump. Ooh. The, uh... I forgot about this. This, uh... Behavit is reacting to this. I wonder... I wonder what the connection is. Hmm. Ooh, see? Hey! Ahi! Gah! Gatsu! Uh-oh. The branded ones are uh, are feeling it too. This intense pain. Yeah, something big is happening. I think I know what it is. God, God, the God Hand. Oh, it's just like the eclipse, isn't it? Oh wait, is this literally an eclipse? Like, or is this the moon? Because the sun's not up yet. Is is the, is this like a lunar eclipse? They're making a lunar eclipse with the hand? That's pretty sick. It's intense pain. They're saying this is the will of God, not the false God. But the real god that's like a giant's heart in the middle of the void. Hmm. I mean, yeah, this is all God's plan, isn't it? Oh, it's him. That's what I thought. It's Griffithu. Griffithu. So, is this the baby? Is this the Casca's demon baby? It's becoming... I mean, you can see... It's growing hair. Really, really long hair. Ooh. Those long, flowing, gorgeous locks can only mean one person. That can only mean one thing. It's kind of cute. They're growing from a child. This is this is like a baby Griffith. I wonder how fast it's growing. Yeah, you can't have Griffith without the hair, right? You can't just birth him bald. He's got to grow all the hair. Out immediately. Now look at these ends. It's just a... Uh, it's a nice, uh, pretty nice head of hair. I'm jealous. If only I could grow it that long. My hair grows pretty slowly. Ah, light brimming. Ah... Egg boy finally dies happy. And he's cracking, he's cracking open. The egg is hatching. Giving birth to uh the new world that he dreamed of. The kinder world, right? Is Griffith really gonna make the world better? I guess we'll see. Uh-oh. Vush. Vush. Ooh, it's all spitting blood. Is this all the blood of the, uh... The sacrificed? 
Because all these, uh, these guys, all the thousands of people that were just, uh, swallowed by the, the goo monsters, they were all sacrifices, right? For Griffith. This is way more people than Griffith sacrificed initially to become Femto, right? But now, he's sacri- this is like genocide levels of, of, of sacrifice. This is like a lot of people. Possibly like over 10,000 people. Possibly tens of thousands. So yeah, that's a lot of blood. Look at all these. I mean, yeah, the tower is pretty big. Bulch, 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 bulch. Boosh, boosh. <gasps> ah! Everyone's looking except for Casca. Who probably couldn't understand. She doesn't understand anything that's happening. Boosh. Oh, it's all coming, tumbling down. Wait, there were still, uh... Are those skeletons, or were there unconsumed bodies? In there. It all comes tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Griffith! Griffith! <laughs> Guts knows Griffith has returned. Griffith! 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 When the sky falls at the holy ground where blind sheep gather and erect a pillar of fire. It will come. It will come. Hmm. It. The, the hawk of prophecy. This is the prophecy, isn't it? Yeah, these bodies still have flesh on them, I wonder. Are these guys still alive? They look like they might be alive. <laughs> well, it won't be for much longer, I guess. Uh, yeah, these guys, um, maybe they were hiding in the, in the tower. Maybe the ghosts didn't consume all the tower, but, well, they are now. Uh-oh. Uh oh, it's falling on them. Get down! Whom! Boom. If the tower fell on them, how exactly do they survive? Hmm. Boom. Yeah, that was a pretty big tower, and they were on the outer wall right here. Oh man, how, how unlucky do you have to be to be on the part of the wall the tower falls on? Yeah, maybe they should have, uh, gotten out of the way. I guess they didn't have the chance. They could have seen which way the tower was leaning. Oh, it's the sunlight. Oh, brum, brum, the sunlight. Oh, and the whores are okay. I'm glad these girls are fine. Be these girls are good girls. They're not, uh, they're the good kind of hoes. They're hoes out of necessity, okay? Not because they like it, necessarily. But they don't necessarily don't like it. You know. Wow, this has been through... ...so much. I guess it just, uh... All this wall was just taken out? Damn. Yeah, good riddance to that tower. That was, uh... ...was not doing anyone any good. Ah, uh, the symbol of God has finally fallen. Yeah, the, uh... Well, the church wasn't doing, uh... Any good, not here at least. It was being run by a psycho... Torturing zealot. Good job, Eggie Boy, you fucked up the whole world. 
because you are garbage. <laughs> Not an ambition for an A. Bitterness is a very powerful motivation for evil. Yeah, that's true. Uh, someone becomes bitter and angry and disappointed. They, uh, they can do all sorts of things. But, I mean, was he really evil? He fucked up the world because he was garbage. But he was garbage because the world cast him aside, right? Because uh, the world was so unfair and unforgiving to him, right? And he wanted to create a new world where he would be accepted, so... Yeah, maybe uh, if you keep people happy, then uh, they are not going to want to destroy everything. And so the great gay was born again, even gayer than last time. Oh yeah, he... He's the big gay, coming back. In reality, Griffith isn't gay, he's bi. He's probably bisexual, right? Because he does like dudes, but he also... He also does have straight sex, even though... Hmm questionable how much he enjoys the straight sex, you know. He does seek it out at one point. Two more upvotes to 69. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are getting downvotes, like, some dudes are like, 69? Come on, that's, uh, such a lame joke. It's so played out, and at this point, it is, kinda. Like, oh, 69, that's the funny sex number. The bisexual hawk returns. Yeah, he's a bisexual demon. Yeah, be, be careful of bisexuals. They're, uh... <laughs> they really are demons. Literally, in, uh... Griffith's case. The king of bisexual... Bisexual demons. So, a guy got buried by corpses, transformed into an egg, ate a demon baby, and gave birth to a god who was the best friend of the demon baby's father. Yeah, that's basically, uh, basically what happened. Peter. Peter Griffin. Get ready for the return of the great gay one. Is he a woman? No. He's not. No, Griffith isn't trans, unless, I mean, he was reborn with a pussy instead of a... That would be interesting, I mean, we don't know, really, what he has down there now. He could have some demon, demonic shit, instead of a penis. <laughs> We've seen that in this series before. We've seen a dude with a snake dick. He's a, uh, you sure about that? Oh good, this was downvoted. To hell. Nice. Good for them. It's true. He's literally a woman. He is literally not. He's literally like a bisexual femboy. <laughs> right? So I can sort of, uh, you know, identify. I thought their baby would regenerate and be normal. Nope. <laughs> Griffith is very not normal now. Wait, so... If the baby was used as like a vessel for, for Griffith to come back into the physical world, does that mean the baby died? Or is the baby now part of Griffith? Or did the baby become Griffith? Is it still the same baby, but it like... Uh, Griffith's, Griffith's soul was like transplanted into it? But what happened to the baby's soul? Because the baby was its own person, right? It had its own set of goals, but um... Hmm. Yeah, good question. Maybe, uh, maybe they're sort of sharing. Maybe, uh, maybe the baby grew up to be Griffith or something. It did, but it kind of fused with Griffith's body. I thought its body became Griffith's body. That's the thing, right? When you want the D so hard to make an hyper-convoluted mass murder rape pack so you can become one with your man's seed. Yeah, relatable. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, wait, so the demon baby was... Was Guts' baby? 
Guts and Casca's baby. I thought it might have been Griffith and Casca. But maybe uh, Griffith ejaculated into Casca when she was already pregnant, so they. Uh, Guts, Guts and Casca's baby sort of uh, got mutated by Griffith's uh, demon sperm or something. This chapter is very visually impressive. Yeah, it does have a lot of good shots. Clearly, yeah, they put a lot of work into the details here. I'm sure I would have hated it if I was reading through this at the time it was first published because it happened almost nothing, and I would have had to wait for like a month for the continuation. Context is so fucking important. Reading through this at the time, because it... Oh, he means like, er almost nothing happens in each chapter. Or, almost nothing happens in this chapter. Right, because, um... Because, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of visuals. Okay, the child is Guts and Casca's, so Griffith's now the son of Guts. No, Griffith was reborn into the real world with a child's body, so... So he is, like, biologically their child. That's why he raped Casca, so he could be born with his child. Oh, that's why he did it. Not to, like, get back at Guts. Not to, like, piss off Guts. I mean, he made Guts watch as he did it, didn't he? That's pretty fucked up. I thought it was to get back at Guts and Casca for abandoning him. Specifically Guts abandoned, abandoned him. Casca didn't have much of a choice. The people here who got sacrificed were needed for Griffith, Griffith's birth. The child wasn't needed. And it's probably a major weak point for... Wait, the child wasn't needed? Wait, so... Griffith was born out of egg, the egg? The egg of prophecy, but the child the child just happens to be inside the egg. Okay. Casca and Guts' kid injected by Griffith's demonic semen during the eclipse has grown into a full adult in the span of an hour thanks to another demon that is shaped like an egg. It can also act like, like an egg since it allowed the fetus to grow inside him. Also oh, allowed the fetus to grow inside him. Okay. I hope it will be a neutral character, deciding it will, if it wants to side with Gr Guts or Griffith for some time. Just being sure that it wants to protect Casca. Yeah. Uh, the child wasn't needed at all, the egg just took mercy on him. So wait, the egg just happens to eat the baby? The egg just happens to eat the... the eat the, the baby child that um, Griffith mutated that fused with Griffith's body. Uh, DNA results are in. Guts is the father. Yeah, it seems like one hell of a coincidence, doesn't it? Yeah, this is a co the confusing part of all the shit. Well, yeah, let's just move on. Chapter 174, Daybreak. Wow, that's a lot of dead bodies. Imagining surviving all to the end, avoiding being uh, dissolved by the goo ghosts, just to get crushed at the end, just to fall to your death. Uh, finally, dawn has come. What an awful mess. Not a single person in the tower survived. We're lucky to still be alive. Yeah, how did, did the tower fall on them or not? Yeah, they are lucky. Both the tower and the monsters, gone in a night. I don't suppose we were just dreaming. Oh, Farness still wants to believe that it was all just a dream, that there's no way all this could be real. But it's real. It's real, bitch. Get used to it. Ooh. Aw. Guts. Puts his cape around Casca because she's cold. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, this whole time Guts just wanted to take care of Casca. Yeah, Guts' cape looks cool and badass, even on Casca. Yeah, she looks good with that. 
Oh, this is a sweet moment here. They're finally reunited, and, uh... The fighting is over, or... At least, almost over, like, mostly. Whoosh. Yeah, that cape is always flowing. And, uh... Flowing in the winds. Oh, and the end is all tattered, too, from all, many battles. Very cool. So, hey, this girl's still alive. Great. <laughs> and Farness. Starting to wonder what's going on, I guess. Clang, clang. Clang, clang. Puffy haired girl. Puffy haired girl, you're alright. I'm, I'm alive. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm still alive. Huh? Oh, right. Luca. Please, look. Look for Luca. She was here until a little bit ago. She pushed me into the barrel. I didn't know about after that. Say what? Luca! Lady Luca! Luca. Damn. How will we find her in all this rubble? No, it can't be. No. Luca! <laughs> hey. Hey. Eh? D down h here. What she said. Ah, Puck is very helpful, as always. Huh? Oh, she's in the well. Ooh. Lucky for her. Yeah. Hiding in a well is, uh... Is an old trick. Uh, that... Someone uses that in Attack on Titan, too. <laughs> Hurry and pull... No, that's not her voice. <laughs> Hurry and pull me up. I'm f freezing my ass. I'm freezing my ass off down here. Clatter, clatter. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Oh, that water must be really cold. Luca! Yee! Cold! Tell you what, I was sure in trouble with those monsters bearing down on... Oh, that's her. Tony. <laughs> Like it or not. Like it or not, this is my only hiding spot, so I jumped. Is everyone else okay? S sorry to worry you, Jerome. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Of all the fool. Glomp. <laughs> ah, warmth. Just what I needed. Senor. Aw. Aw. Nina just wanted to hug her. Warmth. Just what I needed. Oh, uh, yeah. She did not want to be lectured by Jerome about how foolish she was, because, uh... She just wanted a hug, not a lecture. <laughs> and I guess Puck is like, uh, senor. Uh, this is, uh, this is their moment. Don't, uh... Don't ruin it for them. Just, uh, stay back. This is a little girl... girl moment. Girl talk. Really? So warm. Proof that it's worth being alive. Ah, uh, poof poof on the head. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Luca... Uh, uh, that's what Nina was thinking about. As long as you're alive. There's something worth fighting for. Just staying alive is, uh... All you have to do is stay alive, right? After all... Even so, after all that loud noise... This place really cleaned itself out. It's like fairies played some tricks on us. You want some of this? Oh, what are you talking about, fairies, huh? You talking shit about fairies? I'll show you some fairy tricks. Well, we must be really lucky. Oh, whoosh. Uh-oh, projectiles. Huh? Thump, 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 thump. Ooh, lots of arrows. What? What gives? Uh-oh. Just when their last battle ended, there's a new battle. Ooh. Oh, it's the Kushan. These dudes with the turbans and the masks and those 
those white eyes really uh really did a good job dehumanizing them there yeah Kushan these guys are Kushan what why are they here those guys from before ooh I was like ooh someone's about to get vi violent Tump. oh and it's this guy the leader of this pack of Kushan. Yeah, they're very stealthy warriors, aren't they? They're very nimble. Yeah, they put a lot of points into speed and dexterity and agility. That's the same Krishna Sena, Sanskrit for black garbed warrior. Ah, could he be the one? I don't know. Uh, they're looking for the hawk, aren't they? Or well, they're about to find him. Yeah, ooh, look at this weapon. This is, uh... Oh, what is this called? A Qatar? A Qatar? Like the country? Qatar? Anyway, this was an Elden Ring. I know that. I know this, uh... That the Souls series and Elden Ring and, uh... All the others took a lot of inspiration from Berserk, so... Yeah, this weapon is just one of the things. Of course, they have Guts's Ultra Great Sword in there as well. Yeah, Guts uh, met these guys before, and now he's famous. He's famous in Kushan circles as well as the Black Garbed Warrior, or the Swordsman, the Warrior of Darkness. Anyway, I don't know. Who's, what's this guy's voice? But as the Oracle once proclaimed, something has happened in this pagan land. Though it's hard to believe, suddenly... Are these guys pagans? I thought they were Christian. Or they're this world's version of Christian, because these guys aren't Muslims, really, are they? They got their own Muslim... like uh muslim adjacent religion they do uh speak sanskrit apparently which is the uh the uh indian language at least at this time what's the indian language now punjabi when do they stop speaking sanskrit we'll look that up sometime um yeah these are most these guys are mostly indian but they got some like Middle Eastern vibes, some inspiration from like the Ottomans or like Arabs or like yeah, Persian. The Ottoman Empire was Persian, right? That was Persia. Anyway, it's hard to believe suddenly. And they all certainly survived in the midst of that monstrosity. Oh, so they all... Did they see the, this whole thing happen then? The one we seek is likely among them. Give me a break. We lived all the way till now for this. I call foul. Agreed. We were up all night, too. Oh, yeah, they were up all night. Yeah, Guts is used to being sleep-deprived, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's always, uh... He's always got some battle to fight. Seize all of them. I care not if they suffer some injuries. There's especially no need to go easy on that man with the large sword. Don't presume you can capture him without suffering casualties. Shum 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 shum. Ooh, yeah. You're gonna suffer some casualties, all right. Wait, and look at all these weapons. This double, double-sided knife. Yeah, these guys are dexterity builds, clearly. Woman and the kid, stay there! I refuse! Screw that! Stay here, you'll only get in their way! Oh yeah, Luca knows. <laughs> yeah, Luca has seen Guts in action before, hasn't he? Ooh, and there it is! With one swipe of the sword, kills like one, two, three people. Ooh, this dude's leg and arm. 
just swiped off in one blow. All these dudes are surprised, like... They should have known when they saw the, the size of this huge sword, right? But, um... You know, this sword's meant for fighting demons. You can cut through a, a human being pretty easily. But yeah, Guts has literally superhuman strength at this point, doesn't he? Oh, this is his, uh, the back of... This is how he holds his sword. There's a hook right here. That's how he keeps it on. Good to know. Foosh. Ooh, this dude gets cut. It's cut clean in half. This dude's leg goes. Legs go. And arm. That's gotta be the worst one, because you... You die slowly from blood loss, right? This dude get, gets his head. These dudes are all... Like, staring in disbelief, like, what? This dude's like, what did you just do to me? Probably his uh, appendages got cut off so fast he doesn't, he's not even feeling the pain yet. This is why I said, this is no l time for leisurely witch hunting. Sh shut up! Shut up! Oh yeah, the, the holy knights were wasting time, uh, burning people alive for being witches, who weren't even witches, by the way. It's a witch hunt. By definition, a witch hunt is, uh, is BS, right? We'll meet some real witches later on. And, uh, they managed to escape all the witch hunts, so... Yeah. Well, I guess I'd rather be stabbed with a sword than eaten by monsters. Whoosh. I guess so. I mean, pick your poison, right? You die quickly. That's the... That's the point. Pin ship ship. That prick was just faking. Can't stand him. Wow. You mean he was faking being weak? Because he's clearly very strong. Ooh. Just poked three dudes right in the neck. Right in their weak points. He's a... He's a thruster. He's got the, the rapier. Right? Hmm. Yeah, Jerome is saying he was faking being weak or something. Whoa! Ching! Ching! Check! Check! Grind! Ooh, he's got the dual wield. Kronk! <laughs> Kronk! Ooh, an easy draw. For the win. Coming in with the, with the stone throw. Sha! <laughs> and the finish. Piss! Piss! Yeah, Puck is always helping out in one way or another. Piss! Damn, these dudes got these dudes got some drip though. Look at this uh, wavy ass knife. I don't know if there's a point in it being like uh, wavy like this, but it does look cool. I guess it maybe is sort of like having a serrated edge, but like which much large with much larger teeth. So it's for slashing and cutting. Personal feelings aside, in this situation, there's no, there's no one more reassuring to fight beside than you. No kidding. Nevertheless, I'd say we're outdone here. No kidding. Yeah, they are outnumbered. They're a troublesome enemy from which to protect the kid and the woman. Ah, uh, yes, because they're very sneaky. Right, they're gonna sneak by you. They're gonna slip by, slip around your guard when you're not looking. But what I'm even more anxious about is this party's strength. They've been straining all night against monsters they're not used to fighting. They must be at their limits. Yeah, these guys might be at their limits, but, uh, uh oh. But Guts has, uh, Guts might just be limitless. We'll see. Uh-oh. Whoosh, whoosh. Yank. Eek. 
Ooh, they cowboy roped them. All together, too. Oh, and Casca's still in uh, Guts's cape. Oh, no. Ooh, they did two of them at once. Bing! Ooh. Don't move! Shif, shif, shif. If you move, the woman will. Hey! And bonk! Ooh! And his head just blows up. Bonk on, right on the head. That's what you get for trying to kidnap woman. Get bonked right on the on the forehead. And ew! His eyeball just squirts out. Boosh! Ooh! Both eyeballs. Ew! Nasty. And we know we all know whose club this is. Taking women and children hostage? You are savages, ignorant of the ways of battle. Ah, uh, yes, this guy's a very honorable knight who would never besmirch the honor of a woman. Heathens, what are you doing on our holy ground? What tenacity? Azan! Azan! Yes, Azan is back. Ooh, and he's got some drip now. He's got the headbands. He's a very square-looking person with a square nose, just like the priest, but he's a good guy. He's a warrior. He's God's warrior. Thankfully, you are unharmed, Lady Farness. How did you survive, Vice Commander? The details can wait. First, we must deal with the situation at hand. Yeah, how did this guy survive the, the whole thing? Yeah, funny how the only people who survived are like the ones with plot armor. Yeah, I guess the only thing that saves you in this scenario is the plot armor. Nothing else. Hmm. I was away just a while, but strange things are afoot. Heh. <laughs> Oh yeah, does he still think uh, Guts is the enemy? Yeah, he missed a lot of context. Oh yeah. Even Farness thought he was an enemy until not long ago. Ah, uh, but they're still surrounded. Strange things are afoot indeed, my friend. Shift, 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 shift. They're moving in. Here they come. Bring it. Zun chunk chunk. Huh? Someone else is coming in. Zun 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 Wom Wom Eek What 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 the Oh come on again Oh come on Oh and it's this guy Kaboom Oh just bursts right through the wall and crushes this dude it's Nosferatu! Nosferatu Zod! With this uh, horn having been cut off by none other than the big man himself. Oh, come on, again! Whoop whoop! <laughs> Puck is going whoop whoop! Is that because he's trying to. He's trying to Stay balanced on top of his head. That's cute. And boom. Bah. Bada. Bada. Sanskrit for evil beast. Yes, this is indeed a great beast. Z. Z. Zod. Clatter, clatter. What is that? What is that? What the? More of last night? C cool. Yeah, this is. This dude has a very cool design. He's like a. What is this supposed to be? Like a goat? He's got the horns of a goat, but this is kind of like a lion looking face. Kind of a cat like face almost. Yeah, with the nose. This could be like a lion. Hmm. But he's very furry, too. Anyway, yeah, he's some kind of beast. 
Uh, uh oh. Casca. Casca knows. Is it bringing back bad memories? Nothing can su nothing can surprise me now. Zod. With two D's. He's got a big D. Grawr. Wom. Wom. He's come here for one thing. Wom. Aye. This is truly amazing, and no time for admiration. It is our time to escape. Why is he here? Oh, there's only one reason. You're right. Everyone stay together. We're sleeping away. Huh? Is that the Skull Knight? Who else could it be? Oh, he's pointing. A dump. What's he pointing at? A dump. A dump. He's saying, "Yo, you gotta check this out, dude. You gotta see this, man. You gotta see it to believe it." A dump. A dump. He's like, "No, it can't be. What the hell is that?" Okay, comments. So glad Luca is alive and well. Ah, the fan favorite Luca. Yeah, everyone loves her. Well said. Oh, alive and well. Oh, I get it. Yeah, Luca is the good girl. Nina is the annoying bitch. Well said. These jokes are well their shit. Ha 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 ha, laugh track. I like my puns like I like my steaks. Well done. Well done. These comments aren't making me feel that well. Oh well, what can you do? There needs to be some well, these are some well put together jokes. Y'all really well played with those jokes. Lol. Yep, uh, well I see. Yeah, Nina, or, or Luca, should have picked a better spot. That's why they're feeling unwell. <laughs> when we saw Luca survived, it was like, well, well, well. Well, well, well. Yeah, Luca is too good for the world of Berserk. Helping others when uh, most people are trying to kill or kill others. Well, in that case. Well, in that case. Let that sink in. <laughs> Insert Jojo Pillarman theme. Oh yeah, these buff ass Sanskrit uh Sanskrit looking dudes. Yeah, the buff uh the buff Indian chads. Dun 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 Donovan must have been the secret fifth pillar man. Is this Donovan? The, the Indian uh, Griffith. This guy kind of reminds me of Griffith, does he not? I guess we'll see more of him later. Ah, oh, man. This guy must have replied with the Pillarman theme. But no longer available. Guts, butts, and coconuts. Yeah, Japanese companies will... Uh, copyright claim anything they can so watch out the pillow men theme does slap though it's a banger yes that is a jojo reference you got me why do they all look like a bunch of Donovans? Oh, Donovan is the, the big black guy who uh, did bad stuff. Bad stuff so bad that it did not make it into the anime. Yeah. They are the Mose Goose brothers. 
Skull Knight. <laughs> With the fag detector, yeah. Skull Knight has, has his gaydar on point. The gay. The gay is that away. <laughs> Yo, check out this gay dude. You know. The manga is incomplete without the god tier shit posts. Yeah, the 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 comments are the real uh, the real reason I keep coming back. Yeah, on the inside of the of his skull mask is the is the gaydar. <laughs> yo, yo, my yo, my nigga, just check this check this gay shit out over here. <laughs> check out this gay gay ass shit. Oh uh, yes, he used the F word. <laughs> but I think in, in this in this yeah, it's it's bad, but in this context it's uh it's funny. <laughs> it's kinda of funny. Neo before Zod Luca is just spitting in the face of causality. Yeah, she should have died, but uh, nah, she's just like fuck you bitch, I'm gonna live. You think this is gonna take me down? No fucking way. And yeah, it's nice that you know, Koska didn't freak out and try to run away again. I'd like to see what Azan, Serpico, and Guts could do to an army. That would be some Dynasty Warriors shit, yeah. I bet Guts, Azan, and Serpico all working together can do some real damage. I mean, they're, they are heroes of their own stories, are they not? Yeah. We'll see at least some of them working together in the future, so yeah. Wait, yeah. Guts and uh, Serpico already fought once. Anyways, next time we'll check out the arrival. Who's arriving? I think we all know. It's... And we got a close-up of uh, Guts's face right here. Uh, so we know... We know exactly what his nose looks like. Very nice face. And lips, too. There he is. Uh, and of course, there's gotta be birds gotta be some pure white dove birds and the hair oh the hair that beautiful flowing hair it's him the big gay the big gay the king of bisexual demons himself this is a good shot actually just a full two page pick of of Griffith finally coming back to the world. He's just basking in the sun, in the in the light of uh, daybreak. It is a very nice shot. You know what I noticed about um, the way Kentaro Miura or the series draws people with long hair? They draw them like they have short hair and then just extends the hair in the back, right? Because look at Griffith's bangs right here. This looks like, the bangs look like his hair would look like if he had short hair, but the, just the back parts of his hair is just extended. Like my hair. The bangs of my hair are grown out, right? Yeah, these, th this hair is short. The hair in the front is short, but the hair in the back is just really long. There he is. Uh... Kind of looks funny at this angle, though, doesn't he? Oh, and he's naked. Cool. Uh, if only they would show in between the legs. We can see if he was reborn with any genitalia or not. Oh, well. All who were there at that moment forgot to breathe and were enthralled. Ah, uh, yes, because he's just so freaking hot. He's so beautiful. Yeah, so the thing I said about the hair also applies to Casca. If you look at, look at Casca, 
It looks like it looks like the hair she had when she was short, but she just had the mullet or whatever just pasted on the back. Yeah, these people they don't they, they never cut their hair, do they? Oh, and of course Farness with the the bangs. Yeah, Farness has the worst bangs of them all. Oh, and Griffith too, kind of has bangs. Oh, Griffith. Doom. Yeah, Farnes has bitch bangs. Look at this hairstyle. You know a girl with this hair with these bangs is a real is a real bee. Griffith. And so I think Farnes notices Griffith. She's gonna start piecing the puzzle together. Huh? Griffith. It's him. She's standing next to Jerome. Oh, Guts is way over here, though. Things must have been really quiet for... Ronas to hear him. And of course, before, Guts let out a big ol' Griffith! Doom. Oh, that's right, this guy has satyr legs, or satyr, satyr legs, hooves. Grower. Grower. XD. So yeah, Griffith already fought Zod, but that was in like the dream world or the interstice or wh whatever. So I think uh, Zod is subservient to Griffith for now. Dun. Oh no, Griffith has a ride. Ooh, look, Griffith is still in the egg. The eggshell is just broken around him. That's cute. Okay, so we have to figure out, could Egg Boy have just created Griffith out of nothing, just out of himself, or did he have to use the demon baby? Did, did, just, did the demon baby just happen to be inside him when he created Griffith and the demon baby became part of him? Seems like a big coincidence. Seems like it was part of causality. But the demon maybe became part of Griffith, but could Griffith have been born without the demon baby? That's the real question. And they sensed intuitively the one they desired had come. Ah yes, the one to bring salvation to all. <coughs> yeah, we'll see what salvation Griffith brings exactly. Yeah, look at this. It really looks like they just drew Griffith with short hair. And then we're like, oh right, this guy, we gotta add on the long parts of the hair. So they just added these flowing parts. Really, you can... If you cut out the these parts of his of the hair, you could see it. You could see him with short hair. Even here. Yeah, my long hair is much more... Much more realistic. Yeah. I mean, back then, these guys would never cut their hair. Unless they were really fancy lads that went to barbers all the time, but, uh... Ah! 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 Ooh! Uh-oh. Griffith want- uh, Guts wants to challenge Griffith, but, uh... He also cares about Casca. Casca. Ooh, ah, ooh. I think Guts is about to go berserk here. But then... He's drawn back in by Casca. And then this guy says, Capture that man, all of you! Huh? But Master Silat, don't lose focus. That's his name, Silat. Does he not uh, look like an, a Kushan version of Griffith? 
He's got some Griffith vibes, right? He is a very capable leader. The reinstatement of our Bakiraka clan rides on this duty. Have you forgotten our bitter history? Being driven from our land for hundreds of years. Do not fear. Even if he is something other than human, we are a warrior clan. Know that those who fear death shall never join the ranks of the great. Yes, so go die for me right now. This is a once in a lifetime chance. Capture him before the main army arrives. Go! Glance. Uh oh. Was he communicating with Zod? Somehow, or was he just petting him? Or was he just giving him some good boy head pats? <laughs> Both have their eyes closed. They must be, uh. He must be having a moment there. Good boy. You protect me. The real question is would Griffith be able to protect himself if, uh, this guy wasn't here? Or is Zod just here to do Griffith's dirty work? I'm sure Griffith could go go berserk himself, right? He could turn into a demon if he really had to or something. Maybe we'll see. Ooh, slash. With one swipe of his paw. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's nasty. You can see the rib cage is just torn off. Ooh, you see, see it's just, this guy's spine. This guy's still alive. Like, uh, what just happened? Few of them remain now. Keep it up! Lady Farness. Huh? What are you two doing back there? Hurry up! Oh, these guys are, uh... Ah. 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 Cool. Ooh. Guts. Guts, we gotta hurry! Ah, uh, but... Casca wants to be with her child, right? Casca can somehow sense that... Her child is in there. Hmm. Rawr! Ooh, he's going. This guy's going berserk. Yeah, how are you gonna fight this, huh? You you, you can't fight this. Ah! Ah! And then Griffith. Okay. Yeah, look how... Sh yeah, this is literally him with short hair. And then he's got some, like, uh... Hair extensions in the back here. Look. Honestly, Griffith looks good with short hair, if you just cut off these parts. Yeah, but no, he's got to be gay. Oh yeah, look at that gay-ass face. <laughs> the arrival ends. Yeah, look at this face. His eyes look weird. Did his, did, his, did his eyes always look like that? Maybe they did. They sort of look inhuman, like a lizard's eye or something. Reincarnated, but still gay. Lol. Even gayer. Yeah, he's even gayer now that he's a, a demon. Yeah, being, being reincarnated as a demon, uh, that's gay. <laughs> Lips look extra ready. For sucking, yeah. Look at those soft, sweet, dick-sucking lips. Those are mm, lum foul. The reincarnated Griffith, so powerful. He don't need, yeah, he don't need to suck your cock. He can make you come just by looking at you. Oh, remember the look he gives? The look that Griffith gives when he's about to kill you. He can also make you come by doing that. The greatest gay, still. Yep, he's gay and still no dick. <laughs> no guts dick. The gayest of all time. What is Griffith even doing here? Uh, you are lost. <laughs> yeah. Griffith is the whole point here. Yeah, this artwork is just amazing. Yeah, no words were said here, but you can know... ...just how Guts is feeling right now. You can... He's torn between uh, challenging Griffith and uh, protecting Casca. And now that Casca still has some feelings for uh, Griffith, that just complicates everything. Griffith. Yeah, it's not Griffith, just Griffith. That's easier to say. Griffith. 
expecting reverse panels. When it was still loading, you thought, yeah, Guts was rushing towards Griffith. I think he was about to. He was about to go attack. But, um... Yeah, I wonder, uh, I wonder how Guts would fare in a fight against Zod in this form. Because he fights Zod in his human form. Even Zod's human form is, like, monstrous. But there's no way he would win. I mean, maybe. At, at the level Guts is at now... Guts is pretty high level, but, uh... He's gotta get some more XP before he can face this. Right? This is the funniest comment you ever read? What? So, Casca had a deformed be demon baby with guts. Later on, the demon baby was eaten by a demon egg. Much later, after that, a fully matured Griffith birthed from said demon eggy. In case I was trying to describe the story thus far to a friend. Okay, well... Yeah, that part of the story... Basically, you covered it. Casca and Guts had a magical demon baby that could teleport and summon other demons to kill them because demon Griffith raped Casca after she had fucked Guts. This made the baby a demon. Later on, the demon baby used up all its magic. So a diamond demon egg ate it to die together. About 12 hours later, that demon egg hatched a fully matured super Griffith, but you are close. Oh yeah, so the demon baby used up its magic to uh, protect Casca from the flames, right? From the god breath, from the priest breathing uh, fire on her. And then, uh, so he was almost dead after using up all his strength then, so. So technically Guts is Griffith's father? Yes, Griffith, Griffith's father. Basically, yeah, that's all I need to know. And yeah, I'm not reading all that, yeah. So Griffith raped his mom, so he will be born. Basically, gay... Yeah, it's gay as hell. Yeah, and Zod always looking good. Zod always got the drip. He's actually kind of cute. Yeah, when he's... When he's not, uh... In rampage mode. He's, uh... Yeah, when he's not like this, he's actually very cute. Kind of like a cat, right? He's very... Yeah, this is cringe. Shut STFU libtard. Okay, dude. Really original. Anyways. Can't list enough chapters for now. Griffith finally returns. And we'll see what gay shit he gets up to next. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna do so much gay stuff that he's gonna make the world so gay, yeah. And then Guts has to, <laughs> and then Guts, the Giga Chad Sigma homophobe, has to put a stop to all the gay shit, basically. That's basically the rest of the story, yeah, I summarized it, so yep. Yeah. Yeah, we went pretty long on this one, so thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.